very good day to all Malaysians. I can feel your frustrations, disappointment. You're feeling hopeless about the country. Vaccine will be available to Malaysia soon. A brand new year start with a new hope. A new generation of leadership will start with what is happening. To inculcate values, to reshape our character, for characters and values will redefine the soul of our nations. Water or the people can carry a ship. It can also sink a ship. Hence, the struggle is always for the people, not the politicians. Don't ever give up, never lose hope. Rebuild this nation will require all of us, especially the youth. It doesn't matter what professions you hold, it takes all of us to build this country. And we are here to build a nation, not a particular race or religion. Hope trumps fear. Unity trumps division. Keep the faith. Spread the faith. Let's join hand and build a better life. One nation, one destiny, and God be trust, unite we must. And a very happy new year to all Malaysians. Salam sejahtera Malaysia, Happy New Year 2021. It's me again, Elaine Audrey, your show host. And me, 
Aini Suhaidi <laughs> Selamat Tahun Baru Selamat menyambut Tahun Baru 2021 Terima kasih dan keladi kepada semua yang masih sudi bersama Tengok show kami, kami. Ya, Bersama <laughs> dengan kami Jadi kita dah masuk Tahun Baru lagi Kita dah masuk Tahun Baru Kita boleh Tapi tutup kan, buku lama ha. tutup, Kita kan kena Aini, tutup buku lama Apa dia? Aini, Aini. Ya We baru enter 2021 but it looks like we might have another political circus again. Alamak. Macam, I, macam mana tu? Mm-mm. Tutup balik, buka balik. Tutup balik, tutup balik. Cerita baru, kita punya popcorn kena bawa balik ke depan lah. Sebab ada cerita. <laughs> cerita tu Cerita. 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 <laughs> you and your creative thinking <laughs> No, you lah I baru kata selamat tahun baru Bu- Tutuplah buku lama tu Kita buka buku baru Tak expect pula ada cakap Macam tu I jump Lepas tu I jump Lepas tu I jump in dengan polis It's not so serious Anyway Dah masuk balik Ya Anyway, Elaine Kita kena put aside lah semua benda tu Because malam ni We have someone very special Uh, eh, tak nak bagitahu ke? You tak bagitahu <laughs> Nak bagitahu lah From a land far, far away Ya, yeah, jauh sangat Jauh sangat, jauh, jauh sangat Lalu jauh Tapi Kali dia masih ada tied to uh, tanah Melayu lah kan? Ah, yes, ada tanah uh, Melayu uh, uh, Tapi uh. dia ikutkan sebab dia jauh Dia jauh sangat dengan Apa tu, beza masa 16 jam Dengan tanah Melayu and California Kami uh-huh. terpaksa pre-record show malam ini tapi it's still good lah okay. Nevertheless it's still good Bukan je tak bagus Kita still bagus apa Elaine <laughs> Yelah We just recorded that Yeah <laughs> So I mean, macam yeah, You know not... We we stayed awake until what 2.30 in the morning Aini 2.30 for 2.30 to yes, 3 For the audience We did it all for you So are we ready to welcome Our first guest of 2021 Elaine I am very ready Let's do it Let's do it Mayor Elaine, Jocelyn Elaine, Elaine. Yes Mayor Jocelyn everyone <laughs> Our guest is all the way from America in East Vale, California to be exact. She's young, highly admired by the youths in Malaysia. Let's welcome her, Mayor Jocelyn Yao. Yay! Hi, Mayor Jocelyn. How are you? Good, good. It's um, it's early here. But... <laughs> we can tell. We can, we, we can tell. Very, <laughs> the sun looks like it's out there <laughs> dancing. Yeah, but... No, thank you for having me here. This is exciting, and and it's 2021, so that's you yeah. know new year, new new hope, and hopefully we can you know bring some changes to to um to everywhere around the world for for the better. Amen. Amen. Amen to that. <laughs> well, uh, can we call you Mayor Joe or Jocelyn? I know Which we were so confused earlier. Yeah, we, we were confused. Doesn't matter. <laughs> doesn't matter. Uh, yeah, do doesn't mayor? matter. Just Mayor Joe sounds Mayor cool. Joe. Sounds oh, youthful. Sounds <laughs> anyway, all right, Mayor Joe. First of all, let's talk about gender equality. Do you believe in such thing as gender equality? I mean, let's face it, men in general are still more dominant in literally everything, um, especially uh, more favored, yeah. favored, uh, favored. Sorry, uh, when it comes to powerful positions, do you think we have? outgrown that notion over the years so uh, you know it's i was i know was that too serious of a for <laughs> no, a first no, no, question no, 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 i just no, no, like no, shot you in there straight in i was like oh, I went straight in. <laughs> no i mean yes and no in, in a way that you know really got me thinking how far have we come yet at the same time how like we're we're not we haven't achieved gender equality even though we've been talking about this since what like my mom's generation um and and you know like it's it's something that we've been talking about for for decades and yet are we really seeing a whole lot of improvement um i'll I'll take united states for example like i the fact that i'm the you know the first woman of minority woman to to serve as the mayor in the entire state of california how is it that i'm the first youngest one like i i don't like it just blew my mind actually when i found out about it i was like how is that possible right yeah. and and also the other thing is there's not a whole lot of moms in office to begin with there's not a whole lot of moms like i could literally count with my both hands here in the united states right when it comes to 
um, who's serving as mayor. Like it's not moms. And yeah. so, you know, I, I do think I would like to think that we can achieve gender equality, but the reality is that it's, it, that it has to start with home. What I've noticed is that, and there's a lot of studies that show this is that it starts at a, at a young age. And the reason why men, Elaine, like you mentioned, right? Like why men are favorite in certain position and powerful position, it's because, because of what we started at home when kids are young. And I see that, right? Like I, I'm, I'll give you an example. Like I have a younger brother. The way we were raised, even though my parents, you know, they they really believe in gender equality, but even then, mm-hmm. the subtle differences make a huge difference. And they start at a young age, right? Like my my brother was taught to like not to cry because he's a boy, That's he's true. a man. And yeah. versus me, like I, I was like, yeah, you know how are you feeling? Like, yeah. job, like you know, you you can tell me, share, share yeah. your feeling yeah. with me. Um, that's what my parents would tell me. Versus my brother, never. Like yeah. you got you got to toughen it up. Even, yeah, exactly. And even now with my son, right? Like my son is only six months old and my dad the other day he was crying which is very natural for babies to cry my dad actually told him he said oh like you're a boy like you don't cry like he said that to my six months old and I was like what like how how do you expect a six month yeah. old not to not cry, to cry. <laughs> boy, right so you know like just that how how we raise our kids make a huge difference and and so you have men generally speaking again you know when it comes to workforce who are more quote-unquote rational you mm-hmm. know who are while women quote-unquote are more emotional and yeah. it's because of the way we were raised right and but also even then it's i also think that we need to rethink how we think about powerful positions like what's i really don't think there's anything wrong with being emotional like I, yeah. I I got I'll admit to you like I cried at my first city council meeting like I shed a few tears and it's because I thought about the I, I thought about my kid and how yeah. this decision would affect him so to be completely honest with you I'm okay with being emotional like I'm okay I'm embracing that part of me because I do think that we need more leaders who are empathetic we need more leaders who who can feel the emotion like we need more leaders who can who can relate to the people and and so you know like I I do think that we need to rethink how we think about leaders or how we think about men and power or people in position um so I I'm embracing it like yes you know like we I was raised a certain way and I am embracing how I'm handling things I I I I do think that we need people with emotion instead of just everything so logical and everything is like okay like how is this you know looking at everything in terms of numbers or statistics or data like the reality is we're all humans like it's it's all it's only natural to have you know that that emotion so I don't know I don't know where I I don't know how I got here oh that's you know we we were talking we were we were bonding over emotions yeah (laughs) and then I I connected too I felt right but 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 again like gender equality it's it's in especially in politics you know we, we still have a long way to go we it we don't have enough women in politics yeah. and and it matters because at the end of the day in politics they're the ones like we're the ones who make decisions yeah. we're the ones who make policies that affect everything mm-hmm. else um literally everything else <laughs> in in your life so you know i i do think that we need more women we need more leaders who are who have emotions, leaders who who embrace emotions um, to be serving as politicians. I agree. I agree too, Aini. Wow, that was that was pretty deep. <laughs> no, but maybe yeah, welcome so- to my head. Like this is this is my little <laughs> head. Like things that go through my head. It's like you know, my it's funny because like my mom was always like, Jocelyn, like what are you thinking? I'm just yeah. like. Oh. Let me process this first before I actually say it out loud because there's a lot going on in my head right now. Mothers get so worried when when that happens. Are you are you okay? Like, are you, are you, are you, are you, are you need a timeout. Mom was just doing that to me earlier today. 
Oh, that's um, so funny. Yeah, no, I, I do think we have, we definitely have a long way to go. And, you know, it's, and, yeah, yeah. So how do you, like, personally think we can overcome that stigma? Because even here in Malaysia, we, you know. <laughs> we yeah. have the same problem. We Yeah, no, it's, it's <laughs> everywhere. Um, I, you know, I definitely think that we need to, Like, like I said, like we need to start at home, like everything, you know, whether it's gender equality or, or overcoming that stigma, it has to start with home and the shift of, of mindset that starts with parents, which is really hard. Um, yes. So I believe that I, I really believe that we are the generation that will make a difference because I mean, my parents, they're 50 years old, 50 plus years old. We're not going to change their mind. Like it's too late. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. But For us, for you and I, like we can make a difference in our kids. And I, I believe that's when the shift is going to happen. It's going to take another generation. I don't think it's happening in the next five, 10 years. I think you it's going to happen now. when, yeah, yeah, it's not going to, I, I really don't think it's going to happen anytime soon. I think it's going to happen when my kid grows up to be an adult. So that's another like, what, 20 years? Um, But that's also the truth about changes. It's slow. Like it's not, it doesn't just happen overnight because, well, guess what? Our minds are pretty fixed. <laughs> like yeah, you, good luck convincing. And we have convincing. like different like, sections. You know? Exactly. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Well, you know, like once once you're like yeah. fixated on, on like a belief or a thinking, yeah. it's really, really hard. It takes almost a generation to change the thinking. So It's, it's going to take some time, but also policy, policy, like Elaine, um, the thing about, I, I really believe, you know, me in a position of power is that I get to make policies that are, that, that would help women. So what that means is that, you know, like, for, I'll give you an example. In the United States, we still do not have maternity leave, pay maternity leave. No. Yes. Yes. Yeah. No, yeah. no way. That, yeah. that cannot be. No, we, it's trust me, the United States is the only advanced nation that does not have pay maternity leave policy. So, yeah, I know it's always shocking. That's that. We're talking Malaysia about, has that. We're Malaysia talking has about the United States yeah. of America. Yeah. 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 So, yeah, Mal Malaysia. Malaysia has pay maternity leave policy. Yeah, and for, I think, I believe three months. Three I know. Months. Is, was it three, three months? months? Even, yes. even with that, yeah, it's not enough. Time. Yeah. Yeah, we have we have six weeks of unpaid leave and it doesn't cover everyone either. So a lot of people who work for like local businesses, they don't cut it's yeah. Anyway, so we don't have one. Yeah. Um so that's the thing is that when you don't have policies like that, how are you helping women? How how are you helping parents, working yeah. parents? And and you know, like it's it's hard, like how women cannot do it all without those policies in place like without having you know like how, how, like I had to go back to work right away like it's it's I'm lucky I'm fortunate because you know this we have we're in a shutdown and we're like cold because of COVID-19 yeah. so my parents are around to help me out but like I I know a lot of people who cannot afford taking unpaid leave and and so they have to go back to work or or six you know, weeks they you said or they just leave work altogether, or that they take jobs that are, you know, lower pay, flexible hours, like all kinds of arrangements, right? Things that moms have to do to get by. Um, but yeah, no, we don't have paid maternity leave. And that's only one of the example of how policy, certain policies can, can harm working women. Um, yeah, no, that's only one of them. I don't even get me started on healthcare, childcare, <laughs> all that. Yeah, it's, it's, it's Um, no, I, I'm sorry I'm just feeling so much anger right now <laughs> because of, yep. that's just not because I have it. because my sister just gave birth to a baby boy and imagine if she I, I'm just trying to like imagine if she's in that position of you know like have you know, oh, just yeah. giving birth and then you know only only been given six weeks you said unpaid six, unpaid. unpaid unpaid yeah six yeah. weeks and she has to go back straight to work I, And a, and I a lot of people cannot afford to take unpaid leave. Like I know I have friends. Like I know a lot of people, a lot of moms who actually went back to work like few days, like one to two days after oh. giving birth. Yeah. 
my my fr a friend of mine who runs a local like restaurant in in Arizona she went back to work two days after giving birth oh my god yeah I <laughs> we can't even walk properly when we have fever yeah let alone <laughs> giving you know walk properly <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's the... or, or like a migraine you know yeah, migraine <laughs> Yeah, you know that's that and it's hard like how how can you how can you achieve gender equality when you when you don't have policies like that like when and it's not just for women right like in an in an ideal world like you want to have parental leave for both parents so that dad can spend time with their kids too and you know and again it starts with home like if you have more dads who spend time with their kids then you know like uh, you have that equality at home instead of putting all the caregiving work on moms and um so that's that's what I mean like when 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 I said like it has to start with home it has to start with the parents and kids model that like kids see that yeah. and they model that um but yeah unfortunately we don't even have maternity leave so I can't even <laughs> talk about parental leave I can't even like, <laughs> dream about parental leave um, but one day one day we'll get there hopefully hopefully uh, hopefully because you know it's it's yeah because what the Europe like countries in Europe had they started introducing maternity leave in in the 20th century 19 something like 1980 something um and here we are still don't have anything so people just assume giving birth is easy oh yeah no especially <laughs> men they think oh it's just pushing a baby out it's nothing you can't i mean it's normal it's a normal human oh no the hormones and yeah. <laughs> oh yeah and and you know yeah. the hormones it's mostly the hormones like like even postpartum depression like things yeah. that we talk about yeah. um no, it's not just pushing the babies yeah. out. It's, it's not a nice feeling, <laughs> gentlemen. <laughs> Mayor Joe, uh, or can I call you Joe Celine? Yeah, either way, it's fine. <laughs> okay, Mayor so Joe. You, <laughs> Mayor Joe. <laughs> okay, so you made the decision to sign up for public service at such a young age. Matter of fact, um, me and Elaine actually had a conversation about this a few weeks ago about how we were at 25, what we did. I mean, I don't remember signing up for any services at that age. <laughs> so what inspired you? What convinced you that you were ready to put away your private life and make politics a part of your life and subject yourself under a different kind of scrutiny? You know, I, I don't, yeah, that's... <laughs> that, is that, is that too much? Yeah, no, no, no. It's just like you're you're absolutely. You're, you're, now you're like processing, like oh my god, okay, which which part of like okay, which yeah, which yeah. <laughs> and you know, it's funny because it, it does feel like my life has been under like a microscope, especially in this past few weeks. Um, mm -hmm. but I, I'll 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 share a little bit as to how you know how I got into politics and and it goes back to that starting at home, like what I said, um, because that's what started like I my dad was a lion still is my dad is a Lions Club member lifelong Lions Club member mm -hmm. and so when I was little like very little um yes. as, like I was maybe like five six years old yeah. he would start bringing me to all these Lions Club service events like he would bring me to dialysis center he would bring me to like senior center or like orphanage home and we would volunteer mm -hmm. Oh, that's so that nice. was, oh my god yeah. my, my mom my mom was a, a a member too before when when i was little and she, yeah she used to bring me to charity events to yes. blood drives or, you know oh, stuff like that and i never yeah. got to experience that so i'm yeah. okay. so well that was, so that was how i grew up was you know i was wow. exposed to like all these public service like all these yeah. community events yeah. and he he would bring me around to events like i was a little girl and like i would be in a room with with all these adults, um, adults. <laughs> events, or, or you know either that or we will go to community events and because of that that was how I grew up and for me like that was a very natural segue into politics mm -hmm. and then and in fact so in between so that was you know when I was younger and then when I when I was a teenager we all know teenagers are a little bit rebellious you yeah. stop going to events with parents um, at least yeah. I did and because, no, it's a bit, you know, because it's embarrassing to be yeah, seen yeah. <laughs> Yeah. 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 I was so dragged, yeah, I in, I was so dragged into it. 
Yeah. I, you know, I was like, I just want to do my own thing. But little did I know now that I look back, my yeah. own thing was actually very similar to what he was doing. Yeah. I, um, I was a girl guide member um, in, in Alo Star. And so when I, I, as a girl guide member, we, we, uh, we did quite a bit of volunteer work as well. You know, same thing. Like we would go to orphanage homes, senior center, um, volunteering for all kinds of events. And so, you know, all of that, it's, it's funny. It's like, you think you're getting away from your parents, but really, no. no, no. It's like they, it doesn't work yeah. that way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I, it turned out to be doing exactly what they were doing. Um, you know, so from there, from, from Girl Guides, and then I, I, that's when I moved back to the United States and started college. And I was, I was just looking for a service. Like I was looking for community service events. I wasn't looking for politics. Um, and, and so I was looking for community service events. I want to volunteer. I want to do what I was doing because it felt comfortable. Like it felt familiar. Right. Mm -hmm. And it feels good. Like it feels good to give back to, to society, to my community. Mm -hmm. And and little did I know when I was volunteering, people were like, well, do you want to join student government? Like, you know, you can yeah. like advocate for this. And so I joined student government and I was like, wow, like I could actually like serve the community while advocating for policies that will actually make lasting impacts. Because that's the thing, right? When you're helping people, like you're helping them at that moment, like what they need immediately. But when you're making policy making like decisions you're affecting their whole life like it's it's a it's a lasting change and so I I was thinking I was like oh like I could do both um and so that's a, that's how got that's what got me into politics when I was in college and then I started interning internships and and you know volunteering and I was like okay like I can certainly do this for for um for my life at least for now I cannot guarantee that I'll do this for my whole life yeah. um, but but I do have to say though like I it's it's weird like when when you have your whole life like everyone watching you um oh like every little thing that you said yeah. like every little thing that you do mm. and not just me but like my whole family mm. <laughs> my my parents You're are like the public eye that. now yeah yeah so yeah, yeah. Like, that you know I I'll be honest like that's something that that's something that I I don't particularly enjoy but at the same time I try to tell myself right you know, try to use that, that aspect of it and turn into something positive, right? If people are looking for you, for, if people are looking at you for inspiration, if people are looking at your story, it's actually a privilege. It, it's, it's an honor to, to be able to do that, right? It's, it's an honor to, to be able to show people to lead the way. And, and so, you know, it's, it's definitely a little, a little bit of pressure, a little oh, bit. pressure. Well, yeah, pressure. It's, <laughs> you know it's it's I yeah but but at the same time it's 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 a privilege and and I'm honored um and and I hope that you know my story and I hope that this you know where I'm at in life will inspire more people it will but, definitely yeah. inspire a lot of people from all yeah, over I, the world. I'm an, I'm truly inspired hence why I'm just nodding and just quiet since the beginning and realize that I did not congratulate you on being mayor oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> if anyone missed the Alosta part, Mayor Joe is actually half Malaysian. She's from Alosta. Uh, My bad, guys. Uh, yeah, to yeah, those so who are watching, yeah. they blame me. Blame yeah. me. I am just it's starstruck okay. yeah, right I, now. It's, it's, yeah, it's okay. No, I spent like 15 years in Alosta. Um, yeah, yeah, no big deal. Just 15 years in Alosta. Yeah, no big deal. Yeah. <laughs> long time like that that was my childhood like I I consider that my hometown because that's 15 years is a really long time it and do you, do you still uh, speak a little bit of uh Malay at home with your dad or with your like, you know that's the one language that I um I know I love some of it but like I could pick up like if if, if you tell me things like I, I could like I can I can understand what you're saying but I might have a really hard time like saying it back to you but <laughs> but like but also like fun fact it's not related to this at all but because of Malay it really helped me with Spanish in in the United oh. States oh yeah because the I pronunciation the, is very similar similar oh, okay. yes 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 I heard the same thing as well yeah, okay. yeah. It was, the pronunciation is very similar. Like a instead of a, like yeah. in English, it's ah, right? Like ah. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. um, 
and same thing with Spanish. So like I was able to pick up Spanish within a few months when I, when I was in college and people were like, wow, like you, you, yeah. You're so, so good. Are you, yeah, 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 like, yeah, I, I lost my Malay, Malay <laughs> <laughs> accent, but uh, I, yeah, Spanish will do, but uh, you mentioned that you can um, understand a little bit. Yeah. Okay. Should we should we start? Should we, yeah, uh, call, start, um, but mine is Sabahan, Malay. so it's a bit. Oh different. yeah, yeah. Maybe I need. Um, may you just tidak makan? Repeat that. Okay, okay, okay. Let's try this slower. Okay, okay. <laughs> Mayor Joe, sudah makan? S- belum. Oh, yeah, getting there. there, getting there. We're gonna, you know what? We, you know what? Let's do classes. Let's do private Malay classes. We'll teach you. We'll with Mayor you. Joe. Yeah, with Mayor <laughs> Joe. <laughs> <Love it>. <laughs> <laughs> sudah minum kopi. Sudah minum kopi. Um, saya tidak minum kopi. Really? Oh, yeah. You don't. Thing. I don't as well. No, like, Elaine is like really? such a coffee drinker. She's like, I need to try this coffee. I, can't go I was just, coffee. I was just telling myself how I can relate so much with um, uh, everything that you shared to us, and then you, you say. She I just had to drop it. Like, yeah, like <laughs> I, totally no, I, I only drank coffee when I was in college, and I only drank one cup per semester. And it's only during final season when I had to stay awake for hours. And that that one so cup, one cup, me, yeah, that so one cup. How, of how did you up for like two days? <laughs> <laughs> how did you know like okay where how did you like schedule it like okay uh, it's, it's a final exam so. yeah that, that exam like because we have we have one week of just all the exams and that's yeah. the week that i drink my coffee well at least that's like co- like pure original coffee i drink fake coffee i say she, Chila, she like, calls no, it I, fake coffee i, I call it just fake, coffee i only do fake coffee like uh Caramel macchiato. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. No, no, I drank fake coffee too. I yeah, didn't no. Drink <laughs> no, 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 no. Girl, I cannot. No, it's too bitter. Like real coffee, it's bitter and it doesn't taste good. So for me to, okay. you know, you're to definitely drink. getting free Malay classes with me then. No, I'm okay. okay. Since <laughs> both of you drink after. <laughs> okay, since no, both of you drink fake it's, coffee. It's, 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 Bolera, yeah, because the thing is, I went to I went to a Chinese school and we barely spoke Malay, but we did have Malay classes. But you know how it is, like if you don't speak yeah, it, like you don't no, really, it's just, like, yeah, it's gone. You like, have, yeah, exactly. Like I mean, yeah, I used to write really well in Malay, but once you don't speak it, like it, it's gone. Um, and but the only I I do have to credit girl guides for that because we because of girl guides we we partner with a lot of other schools um across the region the state the, the country even and so that was like my my that was my time to to practice my Malay and that was really it like we um I yeah no and that and and now I'm just like I I can guess what you, if like if you speak slowly I could I could guess what you're saying um and I could try like really hard to like dig up like part of my brain I'm like where is that word where is that word like you know that word Jocelyn I just gotta like find it um, find it somewhere yeah, somewhere in there. <laughs> oops it says again hope you've been enjoying so far the Unity Halftime Show mm-hmm. is next so we'll be right back we'll be right back guys. <laughs> Don't be 
Kembali lagi Untuk FYI lah Nak remind semua orang yang masih 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 setia melihat hmm. show ni Kami nak remind yang Our second half of the show ni pun pre-recorded Cuma yang membezakan Our first half of the show dan second half of the show Adalah kita ada A special, a very very special Tiny guest Alongside hmm. Mayor Joe Seling Ya yeah, tak sabar, tak sabar Tak semua orang tengok kita punya tiny guest ni Very adorable <laughs> So please enjoy the second half of our exclusive interview with Mayor Jocelyn. Don't miss out. Um, okay, so to our audience who's watching the show, Mayor Jo recently just became a mother to baby Caden. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so there's photos of you and him together on Instagram. Was he more excited about his milk or you becoming the youngest American mayor ever? <laughs> I, I think I think the milk part. The uh, milk part. <laughs> I don't think he really, you know, that's that's also the thing is how we, we talk about like the lasting impact that you have like sometimes you don't even know like what kind of impact like for instance I'll, I'll i'll be completely honest with y'all i did not know that this was going to be such a big news like i just i became the mayor and then that was it like i was like okay like you know no like idea I, it was going to be like you would be the talk of the town no exactly no exactly like I, i i didn't know that it would blow up in california to begin with I didn't know it would blow up in the United States. And I certainly did not expect it to in go Malaysia? off for the news to travel all the way to, to Malaysia everyone, and Vietnam. Everyone was so happy, was so excited when they saw the news. Like, oh my God, she's out of Malaysia. Like, we and have And she's 25. Yes, exactly. Yeah, I, like, I honestly did not expect that. Like, I, I really did not. And and the next thing I know, you know, I have friends who share me screenshot of their family, their friends, like, talking about it, like, people I've never met. And so, you know, the thing about my son is that it, it's that he doesn't know what's happening yet. Yeah. Like, yeah. you know, hopefully when he grows up, he can look at it, like, that moment and realize, like, the impact that that we all made, um, you know. At, at that moment he's only so. six months you said right yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. well he's seven months now but yeah he just turned seven months a few days ago but um yeah, that's you know he'll i yeah and, and and who knows right like who knows what what that will come out of it for him like maybe that will inspire him to pursue something that's yeah, that's even better know. um yeah who knows or maybe he would just hate it you know the rebellious <laughs> Caden like he'll be like no I don't want to do what mommy was doing like this is so lame I'm gonna do my own thing and then little did you know y- you all know how it is <laughs> we all have been through yeah. that yeah. we, are, um, we have been through that phase so 
you know, it, who knows? Who, I you never know. Like he he could it could it could inspire him to pursue politics, and and maybe he will he will get to somewhere even farther, even even higher than I do. And and who knows? Or maybe he will just hate it. We'll find out. We'll find out in 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 you know fifteen years in twenty years. But did you honestly thought that getting the seat, get, being a mayor? That everything else, like your life, would just be normal. I kind of did. Like, no. How did you not expect that? You <laughs> know, work that way. That, I did. I really did. Like, okay, I'll, you know, yeah, I'll, I'll be. Yeah, if I if I become mayor, if I, you know, I, you know, I'll, like, I'll like, just I'm just normal. Like, I'll no, still continue to you know, yeah, visit like, my uh, local cafe, yeah. and uh, I did. No I one really will know me. Did. I did. I was like, you know what? This is you know, I'm just gonna come become the mayor, like just do what I've been doing, and you know, I'm sorry. Just a Malaysian yeah, thing. Know. You know, you know how Malaysians are. We're pretty humble. Well, yeah, you know that's that's mm. true. That that is like yeah. No, that's actually I didn't even realize how humble like Malaysians are until when I came to the United States, and I felt like at that time everyone was super arrogant. I was like, oh my gosh, yeah. but um, no, but yeah, no. thing like like with uh with the Canadians in Canada, people Canadians are so used to be says, I'm sorry, I'm so, like they yes. apologize too much. Yeah, yeah. It's, so it's a thing with Malaysians that we're too humble. Yeah, I, I think that might be it. I don't know, but like I really did not expect any of this. And in fact, my friends, like I, I still keep in touch with some of my friends in Malaysia. They were like, um, Jocelyn, when are you coming back to Malaysia? And like, do we still need to go to the airport to pick you up? Or like, are you gonna have private limo, like whole thing? I was just like, no, please, no. Private but, secret service. Yeah, no, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> but um but yeah no it's i yeah i i did not expect this okay um you know speaking of being becoming a mother i'm sure we have tons of mothers watching the show right now um as a young yourself <laughs> as a young you, we can see it by the, the comment <laughs> section <laughs> so how do you balance having multiple passion your passion for serving the people and that passion unexplainable joy of being a mom do you think a woman can give her all in a political career and at the same time, you know, give her all to being a young mom? Yeah, no, it's definitely challenging. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. Any moms will tell you this. It's yeah. so challenging. Um, but what really helps is having policies that help working parents in place. Like it, you know, the reason like for, Lane, like the the reason, and you know, we are able to do this. Like I originally, we had to post change the schedule, like because of Caden, mm-hmm. right? But you guys were super flexible with this, and so, you know, that's just one example of how it. It's not just a one person. I would like to think I'm doing all the work. <laughs> but it's really not. It's everyone around me. It's, it's you guys who were super flexible and was able, were able to change the schedule. It's my boss, employers at work, even though we don't have a maternity policy in the United States, like they were able to create a policy, a workplace policy, not perfect, but you know, they were able to come up with something in place for, for me to spend more time with Caden and, on city council. So I, I still breastfeed Caden. And so, you know, I, I had to put in place like a policy that, you know, we're going to take a break at certain hours so that I can still breastfeed Caden. You know, it's so, it's not, it's, it's hard. It's, it's almost, I'm going to be honest, it's almost impossible to do it all. If you don't have people, if you don't have companies, if you don't have a government that support, if you don't have families that support you, and and I the, like truly, you need to have policies in place that help women, that help working parents, yeah. um, to to really do it all. Because um, if you know, if we if we were to do it the old way, which is like I you know I saw how my grandma did it. Like my grandma was running her own shop in in Gada. Like she she was she was a. a what do you call it in Malaysia? Like she, she was a tailor. Like she, she would, you know, she had her own shop. Yeah. Yeah. And at the same time, she was also taking care of four kids all by herself. Right. Um, I love my grandparents. I do. Um, but it's just that, you know, seeing that, like she did all of it, like she had to 
take care of all four kids by herself and also running a shop with like 10 plus employees it was hard like i i have no idea how she did it like it's it's really 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 difficult and 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 so you know i i do think that it this shouldn't be that way and that we could do better like everyone like as as a society and and so you know that's that's what i i do think we could do it all only with the help of everyone um but if we were to keep the old system in place like oh, how it would because mm. um i i i i always have this conversation with my friends my married friends um about how how the world have changed how you know like we always talk about how you know like back in those days our like you know not just our grandmothers our our own mother like you know they have a lot of kids okay? yeah. it's like a, like 10 kids you know it's like it's crazy like when we think about it like how do you have so many kids and that, and they did it all like oh, they, they yeah they cook yeah. they clean they just go out and work and just they they just they just manage yeah and how, like right now we only have one kid and we're almost dying like I yeah <laughs> like it's impossible to look even yeah. at one kid in our era and, and, and in fact you know this is something that my mom and i talk about right after i had kate and my mom was like you you know my mom said something along the line of like women can do it all and i said i actually told her i was like no i don't think women can do it all we need help and it's it's and it's okay to say that it's okay to acknowledge that and we need to normalize acknowledging that i think like there's this notion of when it comes to feminism and gender equality you know we always talk about like women in the workplace like we need more women in the workplace right but I think that we need to change the narrative. And instead of saying we need more women in the workplace, I really think that it should be that we need more men helping out at home. Because exactly. there's you you cannot achieve gender equality at work unless you have gender equality at home first. And so, you know, I, yeah, it has to start with home. And so... I, I do think that, you know, in, for women to do it all, you need to have, you need to have, you need strong to start at home. System. Strong, you need to have strong support system, whether it's family, whether it's companies, whether it's Friends, government. Yeah, Friends, government, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Support system who would, you know, who would be there, who just, yeah, support you in whatever yeah. decision, whatever happens. Because no, cannot you? No one can do it all. Even men cannot do it all because they haven't been doing it all. <laughs> There's no one. Like it, it's just yeah. I mean, it's it's just human nature. Like no one can do it all, and and it's and it's unrealistic to expect women to do it all. And and we need we need that support. Mayor Joe. Okay, so oh, it, it's Kate. yeah, no, <laughs> yeah, yeah, he okay, is here. Can we here, see? Alfred. <laughs> This is so fun. Mayor Joe is bringing her baby on the show. Ah, oh my god! I oh my god! Ah, he's he's there. There. <laughs> oh my god! I love you, Kaden. <laughs> come to Malaysia. You know what? Come to Malaysia. I'll look after you. Oh my god! Look at that, Drew. Ah. You want to go to Malaysia? Yeah, he, I, I actually, I, I do want to bring him to visit um, our star specifically. No, well, I'll fly to, I'll fly to California and then we'll fly <laughs> back to Malaysia together. And together. We have a strong <laughs> support system. We just spoke about it. Yeah, yeah. I'll be that. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, when he's a little bit older, but, and, and, and once, you know, COVID-19 yeah, is. Yeah, it's safe, is safe to travel. Oh, look at this. Oh geez. my God. And that Drew, oh my, I love babies. Oh, so cute! <laughs> he's big. He's only seven months old, and I he's, know, he's, he's, yeah, big. he's breastfeeding. Yeah, it's it. it I, I think it is because of breastfeeding. Because um, normally babies don't get this big. He's getting all the nutrition. He looks like you though. He does. He does. That's good. You know, like how in um in our culture when we when we say like um so your son should look like like the like mother, mother like the mom the so that they grow, yeah so it's like you know the opposite so that when they grow up that they'll they'll like you know somehow be someone like something like big 
What are you saying? Oh, that's the base. Uh, see, that's an Asian. <laughs> I, I, I want, no, yeah. I'll, take, it's okay. I'll take it. I'll take yeah. it. Anything that's good. I'll take just it. said it starts at home. Home it starts with home. And here I am, like you know, like how in like in Malaysia, you know how they say, "Oh God." <laughs> <laughs> okay, Mayor Joe, we need to know. Um, how did you react? What went through your head when Kamala Harris officially became your vice president elect? Oh. Yeah, I, you know, I was really excited, like, to to have her, set, you know, get get the appointment, and then also now will be serving as the vice president. Um, it, it was definitely a, a historical moment. Yeah. However, with that being said, my first, you know, with that brain of mine, um, <laughs> the first, one of the first things that I thought about was, she because she was very popular when she became the vice when the nominee for vice president like everyone loves her like people were like yes yeah. so, like you know people yeah. were so excited but she also ran for president just a few months before that and her her approval rating like she did not get a whole lot of vote to begin with she was not even one of the the main contestants like you know you had joe biden you had elizabeth yeah. warren who were who are very close, or, and you you might have like Bernie Sanders, but Kamala Harris did not even get remotely like any votes like close enough to be the president of the United States, which you know for me I felt I felt like because there's a lot of research. So I'm also studying my master's in government, yeah. and there's a lot of research that have shown this, which is that women tend to obtain political positions. Oh, he's oh, dragging my laptop. Yeah, um, <laughs> women tend to obtain political positions through appointment and not necessarily election. It's it's harder. It's much harder for women to obtain political positions through election, especially like high, high powerful position. Mm. And for me, that moment when Kamala Harris, you know, got the appointment to become the vice president, I was like, like, what just happened there? Like, what just happened? Why was it that when she was running for president, she, literally nobody voted for her? Yeah. But then when she became the nominee for vice president, all of a sudden everyone was, was like, oh, like, she, yeah. She, it was, it was, it was very confusing. Like for me, like that wasn't like immediately. I was just like, what just happened there? <laughs> and and you know, like I obviously because I, I read too much. Um, but but for me, you know, that that was such an eye-opening moment as to it was because I, I felt also disappointed. I felt disappointed that she she ran. She I felt disappointed that she ran, but she did not even come close. But then yeah. she was able to, you know, yeah. like people supported her to become like vice president. I don't know. It's just for me, like it was. It was very disappointing that people would not vote for her, yeah. but that she, like they would be okay with her becoming the vice president. So I don't know, like I, I would be interested to see if, if there's a survey being done and see if people would be in supportive of her being the president in a few years. Like yeah. after he has, you know, served as the vice president, um, I would, I would be interested to know if people's perspectives have, have changed then because even like Hillary Clinton back in 2016, right? Like you ask a lot of people, like, why would you not vote for Hillary? And people would just be like, Cause, just because I don't like her. Like, they yeah, don't. Like, no solid reason. Like, no solid. Exactly. Exactly. You know, like, and so for me, it was just like, I don't know, like, I, I was doing a lot of thinking. I still no, haven't. No, no, no. I've had the same thought as well, but because I don't, I'm, I'm not really, I don't really know about American politics so I just brush it off but I literally had the same thought. I'm like is that normal I mean I, I like why 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 though yeah like that's the thing it's like I'm I'm like I, I still haven't quite processed the whole thing it almost feels like I'm I'm like honestly I feel like I could write a whole research paper on this but <laughs> the, yeah this is where my academy like my my yeah school brain like kicks in um yeah, i love school by the way which is why i'm i'm in masters even though my schedule is is a mess but um no i love going to school i love researching like i love like researching all these topics about gender equality Oops. Oh. And there you go. Yes. um but, but yes yeah, so that's that's you know like that's 
the other part of me is that it, it really got me thinking like I'm, I'm happy like I'm definitely I definitely am but at the same time it definitely got me thinking like what just happened there um as to like why why is it that people were not okay with her being the president but people were okay with her being the vice president, vice president. yeah it goes back to our you know like early question when elaine asked about you know like how men dominate in when it comes to like powerful positions uh, yeah. they choose, isn't it? when that happened that when that happened to kamala it's yeah yeah like why yeah no it, it really got me thinking like why yeah why is it that you know that's I'm, and she's pulling my hair. That's a, like you lose all your hair when you have babies. But um, <laughs> so I heard. <laughs> yeah, but but yeah, that that's definitely something something that I've been thinking a lot about. Is like what, like why, like that why part? Is, is it like is it that subconscious bias or or you know like mm-hmm. or are there any reasons? Oh, you're getting. Yeah. I love this. This is wrong right here. This is. I think this is my this favorite. is real, guys. <laughs> yeah, and thank and you know this goes back to like thank you all for 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 having him like because it's so, like some people won't like some I there it's still you know we're in the twenty first century but like some some groups some companies or you know like they they won't like they won't allow kids to be part of you know like their work lives or or in this case an interview or stuff like that so no, no thank we're you. A fun we're a fun interview we're a fun show the unique <laughs> show here <laughs> for everyone I'm definitely fly to california to become your nanny bring me with you <laughs> <laughs> uh, but mayor joe uh last question before before we let you go <laughs> you 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 look really occupied <laughs> but um uh <laughs> How critical is it to uh, to convince the younger generations, uh, Gen Ys, Zs, Millennials, apa lagi ya ini? Yeah, to be in... Gen Ys. I actually don't know who's who's Ys, part of Zs, the Millennial. Yeah, I think we, I think we got it all. Like, you got it all. All right. Oh, uh, to... This generation is Gen A. I just looked it up. Yeah, we have Gen A now. Oh my! Uh, the Gen Ys, Gen Zs, the Millennials, Gen As, <laughs> but not Kada, not yet, not yet. Uh, not yet. How, how do you uh, convince them to be in politics and uh, nation building? Do you feel also? Do you feel more pressured to put yourself as a role model? And and uh, what would you do to inspire hope among the youth? <laughs> I would, you know, I I always tell people, and even for 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 here in the United States and, and certainly in Malaysia and everywhere else, don't, you know your community, you know your city, you know your state, you know your country the best. You grew up there, like you spend your time there. You know you know the, the families, you know your neighbors, right? Ooh. And so don't always, you don't always have to look outwards for changes. Because you could be the change. Like you could be the one, because you know you know your community so well. So why not step up and make the changes that you want to see in your own neighborhood, in your own community, in your own city, yeah. right? Like don't don't always hope for someone else to Yeah, to do something, to make that do change. Something. Because guess what? You might not like it because they don't know your your community as well as you do so you know i i always tell people the best way to to make changes is for you to step up and, and because you know you know your neighbors better than anyone else so why why look outwards for changes when you yourself could be the change that you want to see i agree so, Yeah, I realize I, I've been really quiet throughout the whole interview because no, I'm Elaine, so inspired. But I, I feel like I, I can, I relate so much to you and how, uh, your values and it just, uh, just so speechless. And again, I'm just starstruck. <laughs> and this is our but, first time having a baby on the show. Yeah. Oh, you're yeah. the first baby on the you're show. You're the first yeah. baby, Kated. The yeah. Unity Juniors. <laughs> Don't steal our spotlight, Caden. You know, you you stole your mom's spotlight, but it's yeah. okay. It's, okay. it's all right. He does that all the time. 
I, I I feel so selfish to say this, but uh, I really don't want to let you go right now. It's oh. not. Even- but yeah, no, definitely. I I would love to keep in touch with you guys then, and as you know, hear about everything that's happening, especially with the food situation. Oh that's- my god, you have no idea how the oh. food situation, how the food industry has evolved in Malaysia. Oh, we have we have vegan cafes now in Malaysia, which is a big thing. Like vegan cafes, who would have thought? So do you guys have also like oat milk, almond milk? Oh yeah, milk, yeah. almond milk, all yeah. sorts of cashew, cash, cashew milk, all yeah. sorts of milk. <laughs> You'll be amazed. Like oh, they're crazy, pretty, pretty pricey yeah, that's too. LA. That, that is L A right there. Um. Yeah, but um, yeah. thank you so much, Mayor Joe. Thank you for your thank time. You, Eden, of for course, being on the show. <laughs> And yeah, and, and bring you up in that. another 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 episode. Yeah, just for Caden, just for baby Caden, like baby Caden. So tell yeah. us, how was your breastfeeding session? Was it good? <laughs> just look at Aini and cry. Like, <laughs> he's he's good. He's so good. much. Yeah, but, uh, that look again. <laughs> I think he's just confused. Like, who are these two? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's like, well, what's that sound? Like, I've never heard of that voice before. Huh? Oh, maybe- or their accent before. Oh, <laughs> I don't no, know. No, no. <laughs> That's, uh, no, I'm going to try and talk to him in Malay. Baby Kaden, baby Kaden, Amino Susu. Okay, he looks more confused than ever now. <laughs> you know, Susu is milk, Kaden. Yeah, Susu is milk. Like, yeah. nope, still confused. Okay. <laughs> Did you say milk, mom? <laughs> but thank, no, thank, truly though, thank, thank you guys for for having me, and um, yeah, no, definitely, let's let's keep in touch, and I I would love to for hear sure, more. For sure, for sure. Yeah. Oh, thank oh, you he's again. Yawning now. <laughs> Sorry, Aini. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So, Aini. Yes, I am. Has it already hit you that we just spoke to Mayor Jocelyn, the youngest mayor in America? Elaine, I I am just so still speechless of that interview with Mayor Jocelyn. I can yeah. ikutkan. It was worth it. It was worth it. Yang kita tak tidur malam. Tidak tidur malam. Kita tidur lambat. We slept so late. We slept at 3 in the morning to get that segment recorded. You slept at 3 in the morning. I I went home at 3 in the morning. <laughs> I got home at 3 in the morning. <laughs> But I'm full on inspired by her. Ilen, tapi kalau ikutkan sebenarnya has it hit you? Yang sebenarnya kita ni adalah show yang pertama to have Mayor Jocelyn. The, sh- the first show in Malaysia to have Mayor Jocelyn. But actually kan, Malaysia. sebenarnya tak. The first show in Asia. Uh, that's right. Mayor oh. Jocelyn. We got to have her before anyone else did. <laughs> I, I am just... Perhaps so much like it hit the spot, it hit all the right spot. Aww. And Elaine, kalau ikutkan, that that is why I join you, Elaine, as a co-host on this platform. Because yeah. it shows, it shows that this platform works. You know, platform ni adalah tempat untuk people like us, people like us, you and me, to showcase our people. That's right. So guys, do not ever think your voice is not enough because mm-hmm. it is. So please reach out to us at Hope, right above. Our heads. Mm-hmm. Hope at the Unity Show.com. We want you to be yourself because if Mayor Jocelyn can do it, I need. I think we, we can. We can. If Syed Sadik can go botak, hey, uh, okay, no, no, no. If Syed Sadik can go botak, he's on his own. Okay, please <laughs> don't distract me in that botak situation. Okay, <laughs> you're not botak. He's on his own. Tapi I can contribute lah to the charity fund. I can bagi sendiri lah. Wow. Tapi kalau dia nak. Wow. Okay, you can you can uh, donate one to me because I I need a I need oh. a laptop. Oh okay. No no no. Let's hope that. YB is watching me. No, sure I can see <laughs> because you know maybe he might consider on going both up for second round. Kesian <laughs> dia lah, but it's okay. We we have your full uh, support, YB, if you're watching. Yeah. But guys, hope you guys enjoyed our first episode of 2021. Uh, stay tuned for our next one next week. Second same episode. time, same place. Yep. Here on the Unity Show. Mm-hmm. Selamat malam. Selamat malam. <laughs>